Hello everyone, it's Brad from DividendReaper.com and today I want to talk to you about a couple tips that may help you on your next grocery trip to save you some money and also maybe be a little bit healthier. So first off, tip number one, make sure that before you ever head to the grocery store or Walmart or wherever you're going to go for your shopping needs, do not go there hungry. If anything, make sure you grab a little snack before you head out the door there, and it'll stop you from buying things under that nice big stomach gurgle that we all know we have run rampant through the store when we decide to show up. Tip number two. Grocery stores typically put most unhealthy things and things with lots of preservatives in the middle sections. It would best suit you and be beneficial to your health, wellness, and pretty much everything, including your wallet, if you stay to the outside of the store. The outside of the store typically tends to have the dairy products that are either processed or unprocessed. You'll be able to kind of flip between those. Your meats and your produce. Produce hopefully being the biggest of your costs. And tip number three, of course, on the subject of produce, if you're going into a grocery store and you want to save a little bit of money, if you load up on veggies, which is healthier anyway, you're probably going to see that your bill's going to go down. I know for my sake and my wife's sake, when we started shopping and trying to cut down our grocery bill, we actually found that the more veggies that we got, the smaller our bill got. And that typically comes from the fact that carrots, lettuce, things of the green varieties are actually pretty cheap. Whether this is because people finally grew up and decided that mom and dad couldn't tell me not to eat my veggies, and they need to have lower prices, that's to be determined. But either way, if you decide that you want to go ahead and opt for the green deliciousness, that might do you a, a, a good or two at this point in time. And lastly, make sure that when you're on your way to the store, please, please, please write a list. And do not deviate from that list. I can't tell you how many times my wife and I have headed to Walmart with a list of items that we've put together on our cell phones, written down on a pad of paper, or anything really that was meant to keep track of a list. And as soon as we got in the store, we remembered, oh, well I might need soap. And you head off in the opposite direction and suddenly the cart's full. Like, how did that happen? It's pretty obvious. So as long as you manage to keep all these rules in mind, you might just have a much more successful trip to the grocery store and it might net you a little bit of income on the way back if you use some of the apps that will be able to get basically stack cash on top. Like if you go to Target, you can use the Cartwheel app. If you go to Walmart, their app gives you a refund if they price check anything in the area that may have been cheaper if you had gone somewhere else. With all these things in mind, I hope they help you out. And if you have anything else that you want to add, please add it in the comment section below or click subscribe. Thanks so much.